From here on, nothing goes down unless I'm involved. No blackjack, no dope deals, no nothing. A nickel bag gets sold in the park. I want in. It is not happy. Brent, I want, I want you to watch this. This has been physical here early between these two. I mean, you, you can see Bailey's doing everything he needs to do. Now the whistle's already blown. Both ways. I mean, Bailey gave him a little, a little shot, and, and then Mo Claiborne came back at it. Claiborne got the worst of that situation. No they doubt. They were both guilty. Absolutely. Frequently happened. His career in the National Football League. Third and four coming up for West Virginia. Here comes Baker again on the pressure. I drop him back. Fire high, first down, nice pass to Austin. That was beautifully executed and well thrown. Yeah, they've been showing a lot of blitzes on third down. This time they showed blitz and then dropped back. And Geno Smith showed patience that time. Sitting in there, the line does a good job of giving him enough time. And there's Austin. Austin's the playmaker in this offense. Nice job of getting it right behind Claiborne in the hole in that zone defense. Ability of 40 inch vertical, and he's got one of the best looking girlfriends on the team. Sums <laughs> it up right there. Total package. Second down and 10. Fires complete. Touchdown, West Virginia. Stedman Bailey. Load that muscle. If Geno Smith enough time, they build him a good pocket, and on the outside, Bailey matches up against one of the top corners in the country, and Mo Claiborne slips and gets up, gets by him, and puts points up on the board for the Mountain Here tonight. Sorry. Alston checks in now as a running back. Geno Smith, bad field position. One punt down at the three, this one at the four. And from the own end zone, Dana Hogerson will throw it, and he does. Complete to Bailey. Bailey struggles for the first down. Second effort. A little bit of desire here, Herbie, on the That's, part of the Mountaineers. It's nice to see Bailey get this, but Brent, real quick, watch a little hesitation by Tavon Austin, who's a go-to guy. A little bit of a breakdown here by LSU, gambling and thinking that everything's going to be thrown underneath. Something that I'm sure Dana Holgerson will try to come back to. A little hesitation, double move, and right by the safety, collapsing down on those short throws. Underneath the yep. pursuit of the defense and picking up more yards for that first. Austin, McCartney, and Bailey have been the big receivers for West Virginia tonight. They continue to shuffle running backs in and out. Let's snap the football. Let's go. Gets it back. Complete again. Another first down. Stops the clock is Bailey. When you see Mo Claiborne say that, that Bailey is pushing off at the end of his route. That's what allowed him to get open. What good receiver doesn't do that occasionally? <laughs> Whatever it takes to get separation, especially against Claiborne and Matthew and company in this LSU secondary. He's gone on the road and played three teams ranked as highly as, as, uh, as LSU's had to face. So handing off to the youngster, and that is Garrison exploding. They just, the work that they do, the equipment man on the sidelines. Need a new face mask? No problem. Garrison in as the running back. Play action to him. Great grab at the 20 yard line for a first and 10, and it's Bailey. That was, that was interesting to see Bailey and Claiborne fighting for that football, and the officials jumped in and ruled it a, a completion, but Claiborne doing all that he could to try to take that ball away from Bailey, but again, here's a little bit of rhythm for West Virginia, another big drive here, Bailey gets to the inside of Claiborne, but Claiborne doesn't give up on the play and tries to strip it down, but clearly down before he takes that football away. Well, first down at the 21-yard line for Geno Smith. Sure, sure. So, on the automatic first down, Geno Smith is back. Incomplete. Claiborne there defensively, and it'll be second down and 10. Great job again up front, West Virginia, giving Geno Smith ample of time to be able to read the defense, and that time just great coverage downfield by the Tigers. One of the things you have to keep in mind about West Virginia through the years, the one thing they will do is they'll fight you. And that's what they're doing right here in Morgantown. They're outgunned. 
No doubt about it. But they're coming back here in the second half. Incomplete. And that was Bailey diving as we check in with Robert Flores. Kind of affected the, not the last drive, but the previous drive. Third down. Five yards tougher. Set the screen. Got it to the left side. Garrison. Out of bounds inside the five yard line. That is a big time call in that situation. and Claiborne are back. From the one is Claiborne. Burst to the 35, 40, 45, midfield. Won't catch him, folks. A 99-yard kickoff return for a touchdown by sophomore Morris Claiborne from Shreveport, Louisiana. And that followed West Virginia climbing right back into the thick of things. It looked like he had a nice return, and you'll see this. I mean, it's, it's set up perfectly. He's dangerous. He's got tremendous speed. Picks up a few blocks. How about the shake right there? I thought he might just kind of be pushed out of bounds right there, but he doesn't give up on the play, and neither does the convoy of blockers. Looked like he might get pushed out. He keeps fighting to be able to try to find a crease, and eventually he found it. And, the, and I, again, the blockers didn't give up on him either. That's pride and a lot of athletic ability to be able to make this play. Right there, doesn't go out of bounds. Now he's got a chance to take it to the house. Game day stuff's fine. You're killing him on those features every week. You and Todd McShay, looks like you guys are doing a good job with that. Far side, complete. And another first down, Bailey. They're drafted by the NFL. He passed up that opportunity this year and went back to Stanford. And he's just an outstanding young man, incomplete. And you were telling me right now.